Hello, and welcome to another wonderful Wired Wednesday. My name is Ashley, and this is Zoom. Okay, everybody, so this is Zoom, and I have Jen here today to help me out. So we're just going to go through the um, settings of Zoom. So we're going to start with, when you move across the screen like this with your mouse, you're going to see these buttons across the bottom. So for example, this is mute, this is your microphone, and you can see your microphone going up and down uh, with my voice. And you can choose your microphone. So if you have more than one microphone plugged into your computer, you, this is where you choose your microphone. So for me, my webcam has a microphone built into it, so that's what I'm using right now. Okay. So we're going to go in to videos. So if you want to stop the video, you can just hit this button here and that will stop the video. So if you don't want people to see you, you have to get up or do something else, you can just stop the video. Um, you can so restart it, you just hit the button again and you'll see that you're back on. And then you just want to go into your video settings. So in your video settings, you can see here there's general settings. So these are general zoom settings in, in general. Um, so you can have zoom start when you start windows. Uh, if you have it downloaded to your computer, uh, the way that we use it here is I send a link and then I go through and I just do it on uh, on the computer online. Um, it does download like a little a little exe file, which is an execution file, which is what Windows uses to make a program. It just makes a temporary program on your computer while you are doing this. Um, you can use dual monitors if you have two monitors, which we do for work sometimes. Uh, enter full screen automatically when joining or uh, starting or joining a meeting. Um, ask me to confirm when I'm going to leave a meeting so you don't accidentally leave by accident. Um, show show my connected time, so how long you've been in the meeting for. Um, you can remind you remind you before five minutes for your upcoming meetings if you have them set, if you have actual um, Zoom actually, if you sign into Zoom and have a paid account. Um, you can stop your audio video when your display is off and your screen saver begins, so if you end up leaving your computer. And then you can also change your skin tone. So whatever you'd like your whatever you'd like your skin tone to be on your reactions, so your clapping hands and your uh, thumbs up, that's up to you. Uh, going down here to video, so pretty much all of these will probably just be left alone. Um, there's really nothing you'd really need to change. You can touch up your appearance apparently to make it, to make yourself look a little bit oh a little softer. So I'm gonna leave that one on. Um, then we're gonna go into and this is our camera actually right here. So as you can see, I'm using my Logitech uh, webcam, but I have my integrated webcam as well. So if you just have an integrated webcam in your computer, that's probably what's going to come up. Going into the audio, so you can test your speakers. Um, I can't test the speakers because I'm actually like in the meeting right now. Um, but you can see here my mic level, you can see where my mic is going. And you can adjust your volume as well. And it'll automatically adjust the volume depending on how loud your voice is. Um, you can separate audio device uh, by playing a ringtone simultaneously. I'm not sure what that does, it's, um, but I'm sure I can find out. Uh, automatically join audio by computer when joining a meeting. So you can automatically have your audio turn on when you join a meeting, and you can mute your microphone when you join a meeting. So if you have a meeting of like five or ten people, and you um, want you don't want everybody talking all at once, you can have it so as the um, host of a meeting that you can have everybody's microphone muted when the meeting starts, and you can unmute people's microphones and choose to do so. So share screen, so these, I will show you this in, in a moment. Um, so this is showing you just all your settings for the sharing the, of the screen. Um, so you can enter full screen when the participant shares the screen, so that way you can actually see their screen, what's on their screen. Uh, maximize zoom window when participant uh, shares screen. Uh, scale to fit the shared content to zoom window, which is what you would want to do because you want to see in the window what you're looking at. Uh, enable the remote control of all applications, so you can have um, Basically, you would just go through and you can have them look at things. You can have the remote control of their applications. Side-by-side uh, -side mode, and then um, which is side-by-side, -side, and then si uh, silent system notifications when sharing desktop because you don't want your um, notifications popping up when you're sharing your desktop with somebody else. Virtual background, it looks like you can have a green screen and you can um, have things go on behind you, I guess, with the green screen. Uh, recording, you can actually record the meeting as well if you'd like to do so. And these are just those settings, and I will show you that as well. Statistics, so we can go through and see your statistics of the video, um, how, how much it's taking up on your CPU and your memory um, with your audio, video, and screen sharing. Uh, feedback, so you can send feedback to Zoom. Keyboard shortcuts, so these are um, shortcuts that you can actually use to have things happen within Zoom, so just basically just follow those which you can look at when you go through this yourself. And then accessibility. So if you do need accessibility settings, there are definitely closed caption font sizes and you can make them from normal to medium to large. Um, and then you can always show the meeting controls if you want so they, don't, so they just stay there and then they don't just pop up every once in a while. 
Okay, so now we're just gonna go back in here. And then we're gonna go into security. So you can um, lock the meeting so nobody else can join. So this is a privacy thing that you, that you can have. So it's just Jen and I right now. So we'll, I'm just gonna we've lock the meeting so just two of us can join so nobody else comes in. Uh, enabling a waiting room means a waiting room is a place where people can come in um, before the meeting starts and you can have them join the meeting. So that's that's what we've done with Jen today. So she was in the waiting room and then I admitted her to the meeting. You'll see the little pop up that says Jen has joined, admit her. Um, show participants to share screen so you can allow others to share screen or not to share the screen. If you don't want people sharing screen with you, that's up to you and you can choose not to have that. The chat, um, you can choose to click that on or off. The chat is just over here, so I'm just going to type a message. Hi, Jen. And there it is. So that message just comes up there. Um, people can rename themselves. So if they want to um, name themselves something, they can. That's up to them. So you can allow them to do that, or you can have them not to do that. If you don't want people using inappropriate names and you're doing something with children, probably the best not to have them rename themselves. <laughs> And then you can remove participants. So if someone's being bad or terrible, you can remove them and boot them out of the, out of the meeting as well. So that's, that's an option for you. So this is the, the chat. So this is, you can switch the chat on and off with this button here. Uh, I'm going to actually share my screen with Jen now. So I'm just gonna share the library um, website. So as you can see here, so this is everything I have open and I'm just going to click on here and you can share files as well actually. Um, so you can go in here advanced. So you can share just a little bit of the screen if you want to share one little thing of it. Um, you know, say if there's like a little blurb of information on something that you want to share. Um, and then you can go into files as well. So this is if you have Google Drive set up and things like that, Microsoft OneDrive and Box, you can actually um, share from there and share those files to people as well. So going back in here to basic, uh, so I'm just going to share this page here. So you're going to highlight that page you're going to share and you're just going to hit share. And so what I'm seeing and Jen, this is what you're seeing as well. You're seeing the library website, perfect. So this is how you share your screen. So and then you can go down and everything that you are seeing is what they see as well. So then when you're done and you wanna stop sharing the screen, you can just hit stop share. And then you go back to this. So the next one is record. So you can record um, on this computer, so you can record the meeting that's going on and you can record this or record part of it if somebody's saying something. And then it will go onto your computer or you can record to the cloud. So the cloud means your Google Drive or whatever one that you can use on here. So there's Microsoft One uh, OneDrive as well. And then reactions. So say Jen says something like that's absolutely just amazing and I want to clap at it. So uh, there's me hitting the clap. And Jen, do you see a clap on your screen? Up in the yeah. corner? Yes. So Jen will see a clap. So that, therefore you can, you can kind of share. It's just kind of a, a fun thing to do. And you can also do a thumbs up. So you say, wow, Jen, that was amazing. And then you can do a thumbs up and Jen sees a thumbs up on her side as well. All right, so we're just gonna go in here to more. So you can also do this live on Facebook and live on YouTube. So this is a, a great example of um, like having a meeting that's live. And if you want to do something like we, we this is what we use for our library uh, town hall that we had. So we actually went through Zoom and then we put it to Facebook Live. So it's something that you can do with your meeting if it's for like, you know, um, Toastmasters or something like that. Uh, and you want to share something live at the time, you can you have options to do this as well. All right, so I think that that's pretty much, we can do the gallery view as well. So this kind of shows um, who else is in the meeting. So if you have a bunch of people, you're gonna see a bunch of blocks. Right now it's just Jen and I, so you can see me and Jen. Uh, it says I'm Sabrina because um, I'm under her account. So I'm gonna hit back to speaker view, and you can see I'm up at the top, Jen's below me, and that's who I see.